Look, if you want to have fun, this is this is the fun show. Yeah. You want to have fun? This is where you need to be every day, starting at two o'clock. And I said, if you don't, well, then this is not the place you need to be. Right. But Mike, I got to be honest. As I'm sitting here, we were just talking about C.J. Stroud. <sighs> How excited are you right now with with where we're at with the Falcons? How excited are you on a scale of one to ten? Yes. Seven. Okay. I mean, just because it was, you know, maybe not. You know, look, I, I said I can't. Once Hargrave was gone, got to can't cry about it. But that was a guy I thought was really going to be the dude. And we've kind of taken the approach of getting a bunch of dudes, which is great. We need more bodies on the defensive line. We've definitely addressed a need. No Reg Rusher really was that compelling. And maybe we go making one more move at a wide receiver. But I mean, you, you checked all the boxes. It just it lacks a little sex appeal. Okay, how's that? And I agree with you. This is where I'm at because I'm out there watching C.J. Stroud throw, and I'm, I'm not indicating that I want Stroud. What I am telling you is. Do you have that same excitement for our quarterback right now? Do you have that same excitement that you just expressed about the free agency moves about our quarterback? Now, if we were in this quarterback hunt, and apparently we're not, if we were— Unless it's the greatest snow job of all time. And then then guess what? They they pulled the wool over our eyes. All right, but if we were, how much more excited would you be? And I'm sitting there, and I'm watching Stroud throw, and I'm going, man, you know what? I mean, w- w- the last three years we've had top ten picks, and we have decided to not go mm-hmm. this route because Matt was here, and then Matt was here, and then leaving, and then we had the Mariota. Situation. For whatever reason, three years in a row we've had top ten picks, and we've not decided to do that. This year, here we are again at eight. I know. I know. And, uh, like, most likely Anthony Richardson will be available unless uh, somebody really is compelled to trade up there. I got to be honest with you. That never give me sight. <laughs> I got to be honest with you. People give me just the rawness yes. of, of what we might be getting. Yeah. And I, get, I don't know what the disconnect is with Ritter. He, he's, he's a solid piece. I mean, I don't know. But I, you I, feel me on this. Yeah. No, and I like Ritter. Look, and all last summer, all I said is Ritter wins a job. Ritter wins a job. Ritter wins a job. <laughs> be like Russell Westbrook. Be like Dak Prescott. Freed up the money. And now we're here again, and you're like, ah, those, are, those guys are shiny. And, That's... But Stroud, Stroud went as far in his college career as Ritter did a semifinal he game. Did. Although, obviously, Stroud took Georgia to the brink until the fourth quarter happened. Yeah, listen, though. Ohio State traditionally has been a better program than Cincinnati, right? Th- this is the deal with Ritter. If you're going to say anything, you can say this young man helped build – Okay, four years of greatness for Cincinnati, who became a relevant program in college football and then did something no other program did uh, in FBS, which is they get into the college football playoff. Pretty impressive resume. I get it. All I'm saying is I'm sitting here and Alabama's quarterback's throwing <laughs> and Ohio State's quarterback's throwing, and I'm going, how excited are you right now as a Falcon fan? Now, I do love the moves that Terry Fontenot has made. I'm with Mike on this. I don't know if we got all of this right, but it looks good. But I don't know if I have that same enthusiasm for the most important position on the field right now. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. It just, and it's, you know, we, we know that uh, the coaching staff has had more access because they see him every day. They're privy to stuff we haven't been able to see. Yep. And I understand the logic. I don't agree with it, but I understood the logic of sticking with Mariota as long as they did because we were alive for a division win until we weren't. And, you know, a guy with, vet, a guy with more experience still gives you a better chance than a guy with no experience. But Mario, I think we all kind of saw the ceiling pretty early. So, regardless, that's crying over spilt milk. Four games is all you got to see. And it just, and there was some good, and then you drive two fumbles, but you just didn't see that electric stuff that a couple guys brought up that they saw with Jalen Hurts, which I do. I didn't agree when they brought this up about a month and a half ago. I would agree with it now. Jalen Hurts put up some amazing stuff, even though he did struggle at times that first season. Well, yeah, you just saw it, right? right. Reese hits us up. He says, I do. I got enthusiasm. Ritter's going to be great. Here's the deal. When I see. Tons of Ritter jerseys at Mercedes Benz mm-hmm. Stadium on a Sunday. I'll know. I'll know. It may not happen this year. It may not be until next year. I don't know when it takes place. But Mike, when that transition happens, where guys are going, dude, I gotta get a Ritter jersey. Like that's my guy. Right. Like, have you seen what he's done? I'm not saying he's not capable. All I'm telling you is we're sitting here watching these pro days and we're kind of envious <laughs> of the fact that we have passed on this opportunity the last few years. I'm not blaming anybody. Right. This is not Terry Fontenot's fault. I think his hands were tied, Mike, when he got here. I really do with the Matt Ryan situation. Right. Now, again, I've always felt like Ritter was sort of compelled by the coaching staff to not maybe run as much as he could have. Maybe I'm wrong on that. You're I don't talking know. about when he played yeah, these we last played four, those games. four games. Because the dude, he threw for over 10,000 yards in Cincinnati. He rushed for over 2,100. 
He can he run. Had, he had 600 and 550 yard season. Now again, that's not uh, what uh, you know Jalen Hurts would do. But this guy still can pick him up and put him down. It's not like it's not Lamar Jackson at Louisville, but this dude has the ability, and that's something I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more of.